Alright YouTube, welcome back. What's going on? It's your boy Bam from Bam's Gaming Studios here today, and I'm bringing you another YouTube video. Three in a row. Three days, actually. I guess this might count as two, but that's a new record for me, honestly. I suck at being consistent, but man, Pal World is just bringing it out of me. And I am here today to show you how to create a Pal World dedicated server, which is, in all honesty, a very simple process. Um, so as you can see here, I've actually already scrolled down to it. Um, but you'll need to have Steam installed and be on Steam. I'm not sure about how uh, Game Pass works or anything like that. I think you can only do the co-op worlds on there. I could be wrong. But anyways, once you install Power World at the game on your Steam, so as you can see, uh, I have it installed right here, you will have a tool pop up in your library that's not installed yet, like all these dedicated servers here for these other games called Power World Dedicated Server. You'll want to install this, and once it's done installing, it'll look just like this. It'll have the launch button and everything, just like a game. Um, and I would recommend uh, just going ahead, launching it, hitting play, and bada bing, bada boom. Once this message right here pops up, it means your server is up. Now, for you personally to connect to this server, you don't have to do anything. Um, when Pal World opens up and you hit join multiplayer game, that 127.0.0.1 uh, colon 8 to 11. That is your internal IP. That's everybody's, almost everybody's internal IP. And you will not need to change that in order to connect to your server yourself. But the tricky part is going to be port forwarding. Um, you will need to port forward port um, 80 to 11 for this. And to do this for a majority of people, you're going to open up a command prompt like so. So you would type in CMD in the Windows search bar and click on that right there, command prompt, and it would open this up. Once this is open, you type IP config. And within IP config, you can you can get your default gateway, which for most people again should be 192.168.1.1. So then you'll want to go to a web browser, type that IP in. And for me, I have Linksys. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually going to allow me to edit this from this. It usually makes me use the app on my phone, which it's going to. Um, let's see, continue to Linksys Smart Wi-Fi. Okay, cool. So it's actually going to let me edit it on the browser. It's never done this before. Hopefully it just logs me in. I might have to pause the video. All right, so I couldn't get it to work on my computer. So here we are on my phone. I'm going to open up the little side tab here, go down to advanced setting, and then into internet port settings, single port forwarding up here at the top. Now it's going to look similar to this, but not exact for everyone. You're going to want to hit add a rule. However, that pops up and in here, you can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I had a little trouble typing as you guys can see. And then down below in the port boxes, you're going to want to put port 8211 in both of them. Um, and then down at the bottom, you're going to see that IPv4 thing, which I actually freeze on for a second. I had to pull it up on my computer, but no worries. Right after this clip, I will explain it to you and show you how to get it. It's just a unique identifier for your computer to your network. So your internet, uh, no big deal. And, uh, yeah, guys, this is how you add a port forwarding rule on your internet provider. Again, it might look a little bit different. I go, I'll go through that and all in just a second. Yo, for a second, let me do that quickly. All right, guys, we are back. So as you could see, I could not get it to work on my computer, but I did record a clip on the app of what it will look like for most people. Now, I do want to go back and state when you get to that page, the 192.168.1.1 on your computer, there will be a, a username and password field. Most of the time that is just admin and admin or admin and password. Look up your respective internet provider like Spectrum, Metronet. Uh, whatever it might be, AT&T, Verizon, and they will likely have a guide online telling you what the default username and password is. Now, the next thing I want to tell you guys real quick is you noticed in there, it asked me for an IPv4 address of the device. This comes back to where we open command prompt to get that default gateway. If you look right here above that, there is an IPv4 address for your device, and this is a specific IP given to each device on your network, so it can be identified by the network. Um, you will need this to put into that field so that your port forwarding for this device on that port. Now, as you saw, I put the port as 8211 and 8211. I will have already explained all this. I just want to reiterate. And uh, also, you would have seen that I ported it through UDP and TCP. And again, I'm probably just reiterating myself here because I know I will record audio over that clip so you guys aren't just sitting there for 50 seconds awkwardly watching me do that. All right. So now that it's port forwarded, you will need to give your friends an IP to join your server. Now mine is port forwarded, so I'm going to show you guys what I meant by you don't need to change it for you and the IP that your friends will need to join. So allow me to launch the dedicated server real quick. You can see that's online. And if you watch now, I will launch the Pal World game. We'll join with my IP, my internal IP that you can use to join your server. And like I said, everybody should be able to. This will be the same for 
pretty much everyone. I've never seen it be different, but it, like again, that is your local IP and your friends will not be able to join with this IP. You'll need to give them a different one. So when you go to join multiplayer game, this right here, this is gonna work for you personally to connect to your own dedicated server every time. So I'm gonna hit connect and load in to show you that I load in. And then I'm going to get the IP quickly, show you guys how to do that, um, that I will need to give my friends to join my server and for them to be able to join and load in. So hopefully this will load up here in just a second. Here we are, we're in the server. All right, so now let me go to back to the title and I will open up a uh, page of Internet Explorer here or Microsoft Edge. The easiest, excuse me, thing to do is to type in IP chicken, whatever browser you're on, go to this website right here and you will be able to get your IP. Uh, I'm gonna copy this IP right here. We're gonna go back to join multiplayer game and we're gonna paste it in there. Now the important thing to do is to add the colon at the end of your IP and add the port 8211 that we just port forwarded. You hit connect and you will load right into the server. Um, now for some people you may not be connect, be able to connect from your own and I'm gonna call this the IP you give your friends that we just looked up on IP chicken. That's considered to be your external IP. You may not be able to connect from that always, but as you guys can see, I can. I just wanted to show you the difference between what your local IP is and your external IP that you're gonna be giving your friends. All right, so now that we're all finished up with that, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the game. And there's one more thing I wanna to explain to you all and show you, and that is how to change the server settings. Because I know for a lot of people, the catch rate isn't satisfactory. It wasn't for me. And a couple other things you're gonna to wanna to change to like the maximum amount of players on the server, all that good stuff. So the easiest way to get there is to go back to your Pal World dedicated server game in the Steam library here or tool, whatever you wanna call it. Right click on it, hit manage, go to browse local files, and it's gonna open this up. Now from within here, you're gonna see default Pal World settings. This is not the right one to edit. I'm not sure why they put this here. I guess just so you had a frame of reference, but it does get confusing. You're gonna to wanna to go into the Pal, the Pal folder, into saved, config, Windows server, and then you're gonna find that same file but in here, inside of the Pal World settings. You're gonna right click on it. I personally use Notepad++ to edit things. I just think it looks much nicer. It formats everything to its language that it's supposed to be, um, but you can use Notepad to do this. And honestly, there isn't much that can make this kind of config file any prettier because it is all just one big line of variables and numbers, true and false, 1.0, 72, all that good stuff. Um, I will quickly go ahead and show you all a couple of the big ones. So right here in the very beginning, I'm looking for where I changed it. The easiest thing to do, honestly, is just to press Control F and look at for what you're looking for. So I'm going to type in egg because the egg rate is a big one. Um, and as you can see right here, pal egg default hatching time, I've changed to one, makes it a lot le less like insufferable. I think the um, huge eggs only take like 20 minutes or maybe 30 minutes, maybe even 25 minutes to hatch on this. The regular eggs take two or three minutes. It's not too bad. Uh, another thing I did that I like, um, that I recommend is the deterioration rate. This, I set it to zero, which turns it off. This means things outside of the base circle won't just like break after a random amount of time. Um, and then also down here is where you can change like the server name, the player numbers, the description, the admin password, um, all that good stuff. So yeah, guys, this is where you go to change your server settings. Not that first folder, but inside of the Windows Server folder. And that is how you set up, port forward, and configure a Power World dedicated server. Hope I was able to help you out. <laughs> Hope I was able to help you guys out today. Have a good one, and I will see you next time.